Hey guys, what's going on? Dylan here. Grandmaster Nightfalls went live this week, and the first one on our list is going to be the Heist Battleground Europa, which is going to net you that sweet Adept Warden's Law, which I have used a little bit, and it is definitely worth farming some GMs for. So, naturally, I put together a little guide to help you all complete this Grandmaster. So, first things first, I would recommend using a Warlock. Wells are going to be a pretty big deal in this one. Next, I would strongly recommend Wish Ender. There are quite a few barrier champions, and a lot of your fights are going to be at range. There's a lot of ammo crates to provide you with more ammo, but using a Trace Rifle with Cenotaph is a great option for more ammo. Finally, I use Storm Chaser since it's Arc Surge and uh, Linear Fusion Surge, as well as being able to stun Unstoppable Ogres as well. You will be dealing with all three shield types, however there's only a couple Servitors with Void Shield, so I would say primarily focus on Arc and Solar. Alright, so for my guide we're going to take it a room at a time, and I'll explain my path. So starting off you got to deal with the Death Lasers, so slowly making your way up, deal with the knights and make sure to hide behind cover to reset your timer. I then made my way far left and shot down on top of the knight here. Once that knight is dead you can make your way into the structure keeping you out of sight and then finally kill that final knight that's blocking the entrance and that first section is clear. Next, the big room, which may seem intimidating, but it's really not. I went to the far right here and then up those stairs. This should provide a good amount of protection while you're also taking out enemies. Once the yellow bar spawns, I made my way to the top middle platform right here, and this is where we started kind of feeding off of each other's wells. Enemies to focus here are going to be the exploding shanks, the tracer shanks, as they can kill you even inside your well. And then for the next room, I would suggest just chilling in the entrance of the room and using your wish ender. In this scenario, I would take out the acolytes since they throw those grenades at you and they can kind of be annoying. And then you can team shoot those larger enemies and champions one at a time. You'll deal with your first unstoppable ogre in this room. So use the glass in front of you for cover. The ogre is very slow moving, so you'll have plenty of time to sun and melt them. Next is the big ol' room. Upon entering, you'll have a barrier champion to deal with. Team shoot it, very cautiously moving up. Make sure to take out the two Vandal Snipers on the left as they could be really annoying. And don't leap before looking. There's going to be two unstoppable champions just before your drop down, so just sit up here on this ledge, stunning them, team shooting them one at a time. If you can stop the Acolyte before activating the totem, then good on you. But I wouldn't push up to try to kill him as the risk isn't really worth the reward. Throughout this room, you'll have barrier champions and one unstoppable ogre at the end. Just keep slowly moving up together, killing the biggest threat of the room. And don't forget the remaining two snipers that are on the far left as well. After that, you'll come across some more death lasers, and then two jump scared champions. I just popped well and go to town on them, dealing with them as quickly as possible. Now for this room, we just stayed in the back and used our wish enders taking out everything within sight. We were able to deal with about 90% of the room without ever really stepping foot inside it. Once you kill all three wizards, any remaining enemies will despawn and you can jump down to the next section.
When you get to this room, jump up, make sure you get the note above you. I would avoid going to the left side as there's death lasers and enemies, and the right side is a much, much easier option. If one person can manage it, they can jump above here and then clear the ads from above guarding the node. Your teammates can hang back dealing with the enemies that spawn in the middle, making it easier for you to shoot the runes. Finally, the boss room. What we did was head to the far right side and place the well here. We tried to get a fast melt in, making sure to also destroy the Axiom darts. Once the Shrieker disappears, we ran and hit into this corner, again cycling wells and ad clearing everything. Once all adds have been dealt with, we killed the knights on both sides in sync so that we could plant two orbs at a time. If you'd rather do one at a time, that's also fine, you'll just have to do a lot more ad clear. Uh, but once you plant your one or two orbs, you run back into the corner to ad clear again, and you keep repeating this process until you plant that fifth orb and the Shrieker returns. plant a well in that original spot and get another melt in. And that's it. You've successfully grandmastered Europa. So I hope this helps y'all out. If you got any questions, throw it in the comments below. If you need help running the GM or are looking for a real chill group of people to game with, consider joining our Discord. We have about 160 people in there and we're always looking for people to run activities with. Uh, and so that's all I got for y'all. Um, yeah, love y'all. Talk to y'all later.